The way people engage with technology has changed dramatically with the rise of robotics. Robotics has advanced significantly across many sectors, from production to healthcare. The creation of pleasure robots, also called sex robots, is one field where robotics has had an effect. Sex machines are created to mimic human sexual behavior and give their owners a sensual experience. Sex robots were initially sold to males, portraying female robots as objectified and submissive. A change, though, has occurred recently with the insane increase in the creation of feminine enjoyment machines. Changing social views towards women's sexual freedom and liberty are among the causes of the rise of female enjoyment machines. The demand for pleasure robots that satisfy women's wants and wishes have increased as women's liberation movements have gained momentum. Technology developments are another element fueling the irrational rise of feminine pleasure robots. Designers can now produce more realistic, user-responsive female enjoyment robots thanks to the advancement of more complex robotic technology. Female pleasure machines are becoming increasingly famous, but there are worries about how they will affect society. So stick till the end to learn more about this revolutionary concept. A robotics researcher at Osaka University in Japan named Hiroshi Ishiguro created the humanoid automaton called Geminoid DK. The robot was built to test the limits of human-robot contact and conversation, and it is an exact duplicate of Ishiguro. Several motors and sensors program Geminoid DK to have lifelike facial emotions and movements that resemble a Shiguro's. The robot's motions are managed by a set of pneumatic actuators that enable it to accurately move its limbs, legs, and head. The robot is coated in silicone skin intended to imitate the feel and look of human skin. One of Geminoid DK's most intriguing characteristics is its ability to display the same facial expressions as humans. The robot can mimic the emotions of the individual it engages, with thanks to a set of sensors on its face that can recognize variations in facial muscle activity. With the aid of this feature, the robot can interact with people more organically and intuitively while expressing a wide variety of emotions. Numerous study projects investigating the possibilities of humanoid robots in industries like healthcare, education, and entertainment have used Geminoid DK. For instance, researchers have used the robot to examine how well telepresence technologies, which enable doctors to engage with patients remotely and deliver treatment from a distance, work in the healthcare industry. Geminoid DK has been used in the educational setting to help kids learn linguistic abilities. According to research, children are more driven and involved when engaging with a humanoid automaton than when learning from a computer or smartphone. Geminoid DK has also garnered interest from the entertainment business, with appearances in several movies and TV programs. A robot is a popular option for producers who want to create realistic humanoid figures because of its genuine appearance and capacity to imitate human emotions. However powerful it may be, Geminoid DK is not without debate. Concerns about the possibility of human employees being replaced by humanoid machines in industries like healthcare and education have been expressed. Others are concerned that machines like Geminoid DK may obscure the distinction between humans and machines, which could result in moral and societal quandaries. Geminoid DK is an important advancement in robotics and human-robot contact overall. It raises significant issues regarding the place of robots in society and essential concerns about the potential of humanoid robots in various disciplines thanks to their lifelike appearance and sophisticated features. Hiroshi Ashiguro, a robotics expert at Osaka University in Japan, created the humanoid automaton, Geminoid F. Geminoid F, like the other robots in the Geminoid line, aims to resemble human look and behavior closely. Geminoid F was created to mimic a young woman, unlike earlier Geminoid robots, which were patterned after Ishiguro himself. ATR, a study center in Kyoto, Japan, assisted in creating Geminoid F, which was revealed in 2010. The robot can mimic human facial emotions and movements because it is fitted with various sensors and actuators. Its head, limbs, and hands can all move thanks to a set of pneumatic actuators, while its visage is coated in silicone skin that replicates the feel and look of human flesh. The capacity of Geminoid F to communicate with people in a manner that comes naturally and intuitively is one of its most notable traits. The robot can communicate with people naturally because its facial movements and hand move coordinate with speaking. 
Numerous study projects investigating the possibilities of humanoid robots in industries like healthcare and entertainment have used Geminoid F. For instance, researchers have used the robot to examine how well telepresence technologies, which enable doctors to engage with patients remotely and deliver treatment from a distance, work in the healthcare industry. Geminoid F has been used in several movies and TV programs in the entertainment business. Filmmakers who want to create realistic humanoid figures frequently use them because of their genuine appearance and capacity to imitate human emotions. Despite its remarkable skills, Geminoid F has also generated some debate. Some people are worried that human employees could be replaced by humanoid machines like Geminoid F in industries like healthcare and customer service. Others are concerned that machines like Geminoid F may obscure the distinction between humans and machines which could result in moral and societal quandaries. Singapore's Nanyang Technological University, NTU, created a humanoid automaton named Nadine. The robot, revealed in 2015, aims to resemble human looks and behavior closely. Nadine has a variety of instruments and actuators that enable it to communicate with people, simply and naturally. The capacity of Nadine to identify and recall human faces is one of her most notable traits. The robot can recognize people using face recognition software and recall their identities and previous encounters. Because of this skill, Nadine is a good fit for jobs requiring people's recognition and memory, such as those in customer service or as a secretary. Nadine can mimic human speaking and body expression in addition to facial recognition. Pneumatic actuators that regulate the robot's movements enable it to move its head, limbs, and hands like a person's. A text-to-speech processor produces its words, enabling it to have natural-sounding conversations with people. Several study projects examining the possibilities of humanoid robots in industries like healthcare and education have used Nadine. For instance, researchers at NTU have used a robot to investigate the efficacy of telepresence technologies in healthcare. These technologies enable doctors to engage with patients and remotely deliver treatment from a distance. Nadine has also served as a teaching aid in several classes, encouraging and energizing the students to learn. Nadine has some restrictions despite her remarkable skills. It is presently challenging to scale up the robot for use in business uses because of how expensive it is to make. Additionally, the robot's facial recognition technology is not yet flawless, and it occasionally has trouble identifying features in specific lighting situations or with people with facial hair. Robotis a Korean firm created Alter, a humanoid automaton. The robot was revealed in 2019 and is intended to be a flexible base for robotics research and development. The flexible structure of Alter is one of its essential components. Several interchangeable components make up the robot, which can be quickly upgraded or changed. Because of its flexibility, Alter is well suited for research and development because it makes it simple for scientists to test various setups and functionalities. Alter also has a variety of sensors and motors that enable it to imitate human behavior and motions. A collection of powerful motors that the robot uses allows it to move its head, limbs, and legs naturally and smoothly. Various cameras and microphones are among its sensors, enabling it to identify and communicate with people in a simple manner. Alter's capacity to learn from people via a procedure called imitation learning is one of its most noteworthy characteristics. The robot can observe humans performing duties to teach itself how to do those jobs. Because of its quick learning and job adaptation capacity, Alter is well adapted for industries like manufacturing and assembly. Switch is made to be approachable and flexible in addition to being versatile and adaptable. Because the software for the robot is open source, researchers and developers can simply adapt and change the code to meet their unique requirements. Various tutorials and tools are also included with the robot to make it simple for novices to start with programming and robotics. Numerous study projects and apps have already used Alter. For instance, scientists have used robots to examine how well humans and robots collaborate during production and construction. Additionally, the robot has been used in classrooms to educate pupils about robotics and programming. The Teresa Movement Foundation developed the humanoid automaton Bina 48 the automaton is made to look like Bina Aspen, a co-founder of the Terrasim Movement Foundation, in a computerized form, to safeguard Bina Aspen's recollections and personality for future generations. Bina 48 was founded in 2010. 
Bean of 48 can converse with people, which is one of its most noteworthy characteristics. A variety of sensors and algorithms that the robot is outfitted with enable it to identify and react to human speaking naturally and intuitively. Additionally, Bina48 has access to a wealth of information about Bina Aspen's life and demeanor, enabling it to answer queries thoroughly. Animatronics, silicone flesh, and synthetic hair were used to give Bina48 a realistic look based on that of Bina Aspen. The robot's ability to engage with people naturally is further enhanced by its ability to make facial expressions and move its head and arms in a manner comparable to human movement. Numerous study projects investigating the possibilities of humanoid robots in industries like healthcare and education have used Bina48. For instance, researchers have used the robot to examine how well telepresence technologies, which enable doctors to engage with patients remotely and deliver treatment from a distance, work in the healthcare industry. The robot has also been used in instructional contexts to educate pupils about artificial intelligence and the future of robotics. Bina48 is not without debate despite its powerful powers. Making a digital replica of a real person has drawn criticism from some, who claim that doing so raises ethical issues regarding the nature of identification and awareness. Some people have expressed worry over the possibility of machines like Bina48 being used for evil deeds like impersonating people or swaying public opinion. In conclusion, the development of female pleasure machines is a contentious and intricate occurrence that poses significant concerns about the direction of technology, relationships, and sexuality in the future. While some contend that using these robots to satisfy one's sexual desires provides a secure and mutually agreeable release, others express concerns about the objectification of women and the possibility that using these robots could help maintain negative social standards. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more great content. We must